In this session, we're going to show you some of the options you have when you create a game in the Bravo Zone to be played in self-paced or commonly referred to as e-learning mode. I'm going to take an existing game that was originally used as an instructor-led session and make it a self-paced. I can also duplicate this game and have a version of each. Because this is already an existing game, I already got my questions already set up, I'm going to first go to the options page and show you two features here. We're going to leave the LMS SCORM tutorial to another lesson. The two features I want to show that you can do for self-paced is required to pass SCORE, and you can change that, and randomize the order of questions. I want to point out this is per category. So for example, in Quiz Show, I have three categories here. When the game is replayed, it will randomize the questions from each category. The next feature I want to show you is the publish. This is where we have some options. I'm going to go ahead and publish this just to show you some features here. So my session is all set to go and I've got a choice to play or practice. We're going to talk about that in a second. But here's the link I'm going to send out to my participants. I can send it an email, put it in a web page, however you want to just distribute it. What happens when people click on this link really depends on what you choose down here. So if you go to participants sign in requirements, by default, the participants sign in requirements will be set to no sign in required. This will capture a score, which can be viewed up here in the reports for individuals, they'll be prompted to enter their name. If you want to collect it or sign it to an email, you can go down here, choose sign in required. This will also create a report but it'll also put their complete name in there and it'll be assigned to a specific email address, giving you a little bit more control over the content. You can also, when you have this option turned on, you can limit how many times each registered student can play. We have a lot of schools that will use this and they say, I only want my students to play this once or maybe twice. You can turn it on. By default, it's set to one time or you can go ahead and add as many numbers as you want. Two other options here, choose who can participate. If you've had previous people sign up and create accounts as a student, you can say, I want to create a new game and send it out to only my current students. Or I can go down here and assign it to any particular person within my organization. And the last feature is only I can play, which is pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to go ahead and choose no sign in required. And up here, you're going to notice you have the play button and practice. What's unique about this is if I want to proof this session, only I can practice as the builder. If I click on practice, it's going to say start practice session. Because I'm already logged into the account, this can confirm who I am. I want to say yes. And I'm going to advance. And I want to show you this. So here's my question. I answer, and then I notice I made a mistake. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. Go down here, unpublish the game, go to questions, make the change. If I come back and I hit practice again, the session will start all over. Now you're wondering, so what's the big deal about that? When you click in play mode, this is how it's going to play for your students. So if I click on play, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go to a different browser for this demonstration where I'm not logged in. You'll notice that the game settings are all set to Spanish. This is a new feature that allows you to edit the text that appears on the game board itself. I'm going to go ahead and enter my name. I'm going to mute this and I just wanted to quickly demonstrate something here. And I'm going to go to a question. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this browser. Now if I click on play again, I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Go back to that same browser. Paste the link there. The game will go back to where I left off. This prevents your students from quitting a game three quarters of the way through and then starting again to try to improve their score. It's going to force them to complete the session. Well, that's it. That's a quick overview of the e-learning mode within the Bravo Zone. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to contact us. Until the next time, hope you always find unique ways to make your training more engaging.
Take care.